Hi, my name is Dr. Mike Evans and today we're going to talk about acne, actually a special type of acne called acne vulgaris. It's very common. It usually affects uh, people in their teen years uh, because they're going through puberty, but it can affect people up into their 20s, 30s, even their 60s and 70s. It's everything from whiteheads and blackheads to what we call cystic acne or the more severe acne. It's incredibly common and it's incredibly debilitating. We don't actually talk about this much, but when we actually look at it in studies and look at the negative effects on uh, psychological uh, issues, emotional, and so on and so forth, it's as debilitating as diabetes, arthritis, and even epilepsy. The other thing that's unique about acne is the incredible amount of products out there. Every time you walk into a drugstore, there's literally hundreds of products to pull off the shelf. We've got everything here from tea tree oil to various foams, uh, washes, benzoyl peroxide, retinoids. It's a bit overwhelming. So our task today is to quickly walk you through the practical tips for managing your acne and to figure out what works and what doesn't. To treat acne, you have to understand acne. And acne is like a little mini balloon that grows underneath your skin. Now, the first thing to know is that it takes about six to eight weeks to grow. So it does take a long time for an acne to form underneath your skin. The second thing you need to understand is that as we get older, we develop uh, uh, more and more sebum or oil, which has a plugging effect on the acne. Um, and that's what makes it grow underneath the skin rather than come up on top of the skin. When we have a white head, that's all that is is white sebum, which is a thick oil. And when we see a black head, that's actually black sebum or, or dark sebum. It's actually not dirt like most people think. The third thing that happens is we get something called P. acnes, which is a bacteria that surrounds the acne. And that's what gives it its sort of infected or inflammatory look.